Hello, my dear children. Today's session is uh, on a new chapter, Fiber to Fabric. Uh, we have to understand, first of all, few terms. First term is fiber, second term is yarn, and third is fabric. What is a fiber? Fiber is something which is obtained as a raw material from plants or from animals. Whatever kind of fiber, suppose we are talking about cotton, then cotton is obtained from a cotton plant. And that woolly thing that we get from a cotton plant is called fiber. That fiber is then twisted and turned to form a thread-like structure which is called yarn. And yarn is then either it is changed it is changed to fabric either by weaving or by knitting. So in all in this chapter we will be learning about the fibers, two fibers, one is cotton, the other is jute. Then we will see how we can make yarn, and then after making yarn, we will understand how the fabric is made. So in all these three words will be used frequently in the chapter. Let me read out the definition for you. A yarn is defined as a long, twisted, continuous strand composed of interlocked fibers or filaments which are used in knitting or weaving. In a simple language, if I say yarn is a long thread-like structure which is formed from a fiber or a cottony thing by twisting and turning. Fibers are thin strands of filaments from which a yarn can be made. So when I'll show, I'll share a link with you all in which we will see a video of uh, yarn and fiber. So in our syllabus we have natural fibers. Fibers can be of two types. They can be natural or they can be synthetic. Synthetic fiber, we have all heard of polyester, nylon, rayon. They are all synthetic fibers. We will not study about synthetic fibers in class 6. We will study them in class 8. We will be now focusing on natural fibers that is in two categories. One, the plant fibers and the other, the animal fibers. Plant fibers, we will study about two of them. One is cotton, the other is jute. Whereas under the animal fiber, we have two fibers, one is silk and the other is wool. We will be studying animal fibers in class 7. So let's look into the plant fibers first. We'll start with the cotton first. Cotton is a fiber. You can see a cotton field over here. There's a crop of cotton growing in the field. And you see these bones, these pods over here, which are having very cottony thing over it, looking like a flower. These are all cotton fibers. These are cotton bowls, which has cotton fiber in it. So once the crop is mature, the harvesting is done to obtain the fiber. Let's look further. Where does the cotton come, come from? It is suppose in India, we mainly get it from Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. We need to learn these names. Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra are some of the places where cotton is grown. And the reason is that these places are having black soil. Black soil is the essential soil for the growth or growing of crop, cotton crop. And also you will see one thing common in these states is that the warm climate is present in these states. So if we are looking into the cotton crop, the places where we grow it or we get it from is Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. And the reason that we are growing it uh, there is the black soil which is present there. Also the climate is warm. Cultivation of cotton. Now how the cultivation of cotton and what all important things we have to know about cultivation of cotton. First is cotton seeds are planted in early spring. When it is early spring time, at that time cotton seeds are planted. Means when is the spring time? Okay. The spring time is usually around uh, February and March where the new plants, new, new leaves are coming out of the 
plants flowers are growing and blooming then the second thing is that the fruit the fruit of the cotton plant is called a cotton bowl this is a cotton bowl cotton bowls a fully mature cotton bowl is of the size of a lemon so approximately the size of this fruit is of that of a lemon and once this fruit is mature it will burst open burst open means just like a cracker it will open up it will suddenly burst and the fiber will come out like this so this cotton ball will burst open on maturation and the cotton fiber would be seen then then after the uh, the bursting of the cotton ball as the cotton fiber get exposed we see that people hand pick them so the how is it harvested the harvesting of the cotton is done either by hand picking you see your people over here in the field are picking up the cotton fiber or it is removed with the help of the machine these days where the field is really big so two ways by which harvesting of cotton is done the fiber is removed from this place and it is either hand picked or is being removed with the help of machines then once we get the fiber once we obtain the fiber then we have to make it a yarn and then yarn has to be changed into a fabric so the cotton plant which is having which is there in the field and we have to obtain the fiber from it that fiber is obtained by the process of binning then the fiber the cottony thing that we have got has to be changed into a yarn which is a thread like thing by the process called spinning and last but not the least once the yarn the thread like structure is formed that has to be changed into a fabric by the process of weaving or even knitting then in ginning so we will first define ginning ginning is this process in which we see the cotton plant is uh, giving us the fibers so the process of separating cotton fibers from its seeds manually or by using some machine is called ginning see this picture is given in ncert also these are the cotton bowls which are being removed from the field and then this person with the manually is removing the seeds from the cotton fiber this process where we are obtaining the fiber which is not having any seed in it is called ginning this is done manually whereas you see a machine over here which is also called roller gin which is being used to remove the seeds these are the seeds that are being removed and trash and the cotton lint is going over here the cotton fiber is going over here so you see it can be done with the help of a machine machine or it can also be done manually so ginning is a process of removing or separating the cotton seeds from its fiber so once you are obtaining the cotton fiber once the harvesting is done the cotton fiber is obtained by the process of ginning as it was shown in the previous slide the cotton plant had cotton bowls cotton blow bowls were hand picked while harvesting was going on after hand picking binning is done because of which we can get cotton fiber which is no not having any seeds in it so once ginning is done then the cotton fiber is obtained this cotton fiber is then changed into a thread like structure which is called this process is called spinning spinning rural method is by using charkha so spinning is a process of changing fibers into yarn once yarn is made then the yarn can be changed into a fabric so what is a yarn yarn is spinning draws out short fibers from the cotton wool and twists them together into a long continuous thread called yarn so this fiber is then twisted to form a long continuous structure which is called a yarn which is a thread like structure bandhi ji used to spin his own yarn using charkha we whenever we talk about charkha we undoubtedly remember gandhi ji why because he was the one who had asked indians during the 
um, independence uh, movement to use spin use chartha to do spinning and making their own cloth and not depending on any foreign made goods another device that is used for the spinning is takli 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 is a device which is used to make the yarn this is a hand operated device so these can be asked in one mark questions like name a name a device which is hand operated to for spinning after that the last thing that we do is uh, again uh, the la next thing that we do is the modern method of spinning which is done with the help of machines these days we have lot of lot of places where we see machines machines are then helping us to change the fiber to yarn this is the pot full of fiber and it is being twisted and turned to form the yarn and yarn is being uh, put on these rollers next heading is of weaving weaving is a method of changing the yarn the thread like thing that we have got is yarn to fabric so this is the fabric we made so weaving is a method of changing yarn to fabric this can be done with the help of looms hand loom and power loom are two different types of looms that are used for doing weaving i will explain you how the thing that we have to keep in mind is two sets of yarns are used means they are using two yarns one is coming from this end the other is coming from this end the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric with the help of hand loom or power loom is called weaving so if we ask how weaving is done it is done with the help of looms there are two types of looms one is hand operated loom which is called hand loom you see this man is doing um, uh, weaving because uh, using a hand loom and the other is a power loom where there is no interference of humans and it is all done by the machines so machine operated looms are called power looms so we can do the process of weaving in which we are getting the fabric by the process of weaving in which two sets of yarns are used two sets of yarns can be used either in hand loom or in power loom to form a fabric there is an activity which is to be done by you all i will share a video of how to do it in this activity you will take some two different color papers and you will cut thin strips of it and you will weave those two together to form a mat and this mat is to be pasted on your notebook thanks all of you